We have head coach for UCLA, Amanda Cromwell. Coach, we'll ask you to start with the statement, and then if you'll flag us down, we'll give you the mic for the questions. Coach? Okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> Shit. Get the shirt on. We worked hard to get the shirt. I want to put it on right as much as possible. Um, wow, what a great game. Um, I can't say enough about the team and their resolve and the resilience. I think uh, we played so well um, in Florida State organized team they're always dangerous on the counter the long throw in and corner kicks um, and we knew they're they're a team that always fights and scraps and they've scored so many goals after the 80th minute and I was in my mind um, as they had a couple long throw-ins there and uh, these this girl <laughs> next to me came out and snagged a few and these guys are winning head balls um, second balls and it just it was a grinded out game um, it really was and um, Cody's goal in the overtime was just phenomenal the timing of the run the ball and then the first time finish, uh, I can't, I couldn't be more happy. <laughs> Questions? <laughs> uh, Cody, was there a feeling that eventually you guys are going to break through? You'd come close several times in the game up to that point. Um, I mean, the whole game, we, we knew that we had, um, had it in us. And uh, once we got to that first overtime, uh, we knew we knew our chances were coming, so we just had to finish one. Coach, obviously the conditions were a lot different than they were Friday night. How did you prepare your team for the game and then everybody else? How was how was the footing out there tonight? Well, we, we prepared just kind of as normal as we could. We, we actually didn't train yesterday because it was so uh, nasty out, and we put so much effort into winning that Friday game. We, really, we did a pool recovery and a stretch with our, our strength coach, Coach Lynn, does a great job with the girls and made sure uh, our trainer, Max, was involved as well and uh, you know did massages and those kind of things. So that was really the preparation uh, uh, and with the scouts and the video. Uh, but the first time out here with the, just the slick grass was during warm-ups. Uh, but we had a cold game against UNC, so it wasn't so much the, the cold, but the wet we had to adjust to a little bit. Okay, um, Megan, you know you play center back. What was it that made you decide to make the decisive run forward to that led to the goal? Honestly, I just took my chances. <laughs> and um, I knew we were going to get one eventually, and I just stayed composed. And it was probably the best pass of my life. I've never done that before. So <laughs> I guess it was a good time. <laughs> just <to do> that. <laughs> Coach, you've gone on a little bit of a murderous row run here to win the national title. Can you reflect on that a little bit? and? what that sort of says about this team? I mean, this has to be, if you look at who we had to go through to get to this point to win a national championship, the two past national champions and the number overall number one seed in Virginia, uh, and a very good uh, Florida State team, the ACC champion, tournament champion. If you look through the history uh, books and look at the RPIs of teams we had to play, even you know San Diego State and Kentucky, I mean, those are very good teams uh, that you know gave us some issues, and I think if you look back, it might be one of the best runs ever. It really might be. This this team uh, is phenomenal. The the amount of talent we have, and and what we what we brought forth throughout that run was the mentality and the resolve. And I think the the toughness of those games uh, brought us to this point. And I knew these girls were uh, destined to win it. Uh, just Sammy, uh, you hear from your sister coming into the game, and uh, did she give you any words of advice or um, motivate you a little? Yeah, she called me before. She's at camp with the full team right now, and she just said that um, she's had like much a lot of experience playing Florida State. She said they're a really good team, but she had noticed by watching all our games that we're like a good. We have like a lot of talent. We play good soccer, and she like wished me luck, and she just said she thought we could do it. So that was really good to hear from her. Coach, this is your first year out of the box national championship. You set the <laughs> you set the bar kind of high. How do you how do you uh, how do you go up from here? You have to win another one. <laughs> yeah, we do. Um, you know, that's that's the reason I made the the move to UCLA. I, I, I just know this this program, this athletic department, the way the way that uh, the administration uh, supported us in this Final Four run, and having our athletic athletic director here, and our, my sport administrator, and Joe Bruin and the cheer squad. I mean, just our, there was a, there we basically transplanted our program 
to uh, carry North Carolina. And I now know why UCLA has won so many national championships in so many sports, because the, the way we approach it in such a professional uh, attitude, and, and it, this creates this atmosphere for the girls. It's, it's just they have so much support, and it just helps us to then get, get the stuff done on the field that we need to do. Yes, for the players. Um, so, you know, in the, during the preseason, you guys came up with the whole 110 thing. So can you talk about how that has motivated you guys up to this point? Uh, I, well, go, go, go. Okay, I just think um, we uh, you, women's soccer at UCLA has never won a national championship, so we felt like we weren't really a part of UCLA leads the country in national championships, and we wanted to, like, contribute to that. So baseball won 109 in the spring, and it was so cool to, like, witness that and see how awesome that was for them. We know a lot of them, and... Um, we wanted to like become a part of it and contribute to UCLA, and this was like our way of doing it. And it's like unreal. We just won the 110th one, so <laughs> we're so happy. We also um, used to say one rep at a time, one day at a time, zero excuses. And I think that carried us through each and every day at practice, just to push it and realize the end goal. And we did it, so <laughs> <laughs> it worked. <clears throat> Megan, can you tell us about your your evolution into the, being a starter uh, right next to Abby? I tell you what, you guys are hard to tell apart. <laughs> we were just looking at some photos even from the celebration, and we couldn't quite tell. And uh, but I guess that's a good thing that you remind people of her on the on the field. But um, just walk us through your season and how how you made the most of it. Um, well, going into preseason, I just wanted to. I felt like junior year was my biggest year. I was like, this is the moment I got to step up. I've learned, I've had many experiences, and I knew that from those experiences, I could come into my junior year and possibly make a difference. And it was just a matter of stepping up and doing it. And started off, um, Gabby came in, and she's a national team player, great player. She's amazing, and just the way she plays. And I was competing against her. So in the beginning, um, it was me and Gabby going at it. And it was every game at a time. We just kind of had to go through and see who was going to step up that time. And, um, in the beginning, she stepped up, and then I would step up. And then um, I think the biggest change was when we went to North Carolina. Um, or actually, was it Notre, Notre Dame? Dame? Notre Dame. It was my home field, kind of like home field to me because I'm from the Midwest. I had a ton of family in the stands. And uh, Amanda gave me the opportunity to step in against Marquette. And um, I just went in there, and I was like, my family's here. This is my turf. And I went in there and did my job. And from then on, I think... I just didn't want to lose a spot. I knew how much this team meant to me and how much I wanted to be on the field. So every game I went into it and just put my heart on the field. And from there, I mean, I learned from Abby too every day at practice. I watch her. I watch her habits. Um, and I just try and mimic them. And then I learned from Amanda. And the people around me are supportive of me. So I've just done the best I can. And it led me to this. So it's a great opportunity I was given. Or coach, when you were in Durham on that first trip here to Carolina, what were you unsure about with this team? What were the your, your, your question marks as far as how the pieces would end up fitting together? Well, I didn't know yet, quite frankly. Um, we had to be um, tested by the other teams to see. Then I was in, in, in exposed a little bit. And that's what uh, UNC did to us that first game um, against them. Um, you know, there was there's a little bit uh, historically um, – you know about UCLA teams being soft in the past, or you know they just um, you know not as hard as the East Coast teams. And being an East Coast coach, should not play her for most of my life. I kind of had that, you know, in my mind too. It was like I, they got to toughen these girls up. And but when I got there, I mean, they, the way they approached the game and the the professionalism they had and training. I mean, this is the most consistent team I've ever seen. Um, just come out to training every day and bring it. Um, I didn't really have to worry about uh, their mentality and. Um, what what they brought to the table in a, in a daily on a daily basis and that that trip um, you know we were we were exposed by UNC in a good way I, you know I look back and you know BJ's in the stands and uh, I didn't even know he was here and I was like I just I'm just continuing what BJ and Jill built um, they did a great job recruiting obviously and the scheduling was fantastic and uh, helped us get to be uh, national champions. Yeah, Amanda the. Uh you go double overtime and kicks against Virginia. Were you concerned late and then entering the overtime that your team's legs might have gone away? 
You know, I was I was worried about that. We mentioned it at halftime. I was like, I'm, we're going to have to manage some minutes here in the second half. And, and you know, Sam was working so hard. Taylor's been working so hard defensively to put pressure on them. And so I, just, I was worried that we were going to were we going to have enough in the attack after um, just shutting so much down uh, defensively. And we you know we got uh, some rotations in there, but really uh, these girls have been battling for 90 minutes, uh, the majority of them, um, for the past six games. And uh, you know I, I was if it was going to go to PKs, you know th this is another thing about this team. I was like they have the mentality for that. They can go both ways. They can mix it up. So, uh, but I, I just had this feeling that we were going to score it uh, in regulation because we had, we had created enough to score um, or in the overtime. Uh, so I just I'm glad it didn't go to that that point. Um, Coach, on Friday you mentioned how you guys pushed Allie forward and then she got the goal, but it looked like the, the Allie, was, Allie was attacking so much t tonight, it almost looked like you were chasing the game, but it was tied. And, um, and then in overtime, I, I was down on the field, Caprice ran right by me and Jenna slipped back and covered for, for her. Mm -hmm. um, it's a gamble, and I, I suppose when, with Megan it was a gamble too, and it led to the, the goal, but just talk about the, the strategy and, and um, the calculated risks that you take, and I, I'm sure that coaching goes into some of that, you, you teach them that. Well, part of, I mean, our strategy all season long was to uh, get our, our backs in the attack. And, and when, when we didn't do that against UNC, and that was one thing that was exposed at UNC was the backs not getting forward. Uh, we're just a different team when we don't throw numbers forward. And it is a risk. You, you open yourself to the counter. Uh, but having Megan and Abby back there, uh, they can shut down so much with their speed and athleticism and their, their battling ability. Uh, so we just, we just you know, kind of said, keep going forward, keep going forward. I did at one point. Uh, ask Allie to just uh, manage her runs, like her decisions to keep going forward. Uh, there was a few times I thought uh, we might be clogging things up for each other and, and we needed more space. Um, and also I could tell she was getting a little knackered. Uh, and I, and you know, Caprice, I mean, there's, they, those guys are machines. They just, they're so fast and so fit. And, uh, you know, with, with Megan going forward, she does, she does that a lot in practice. She'll go forward. She, I think she fancies herself a, a front runner, really. She probably, she probably wanted to shoot that rather than slip it to Cody. But, um, yeah, the great ball to Cody. The timing of the run. I, I saw it on the video screen out there uh, after celebrating. Because we didn't have the best angle because it was on the far side. And I didn't realize how good a goal that really was. Um, just the, the whole uh, dribbling forward. And we... We talked about that at halftime as well. Uh, the defenders dribbling forward or coming, cutting inside, and how they had to play that ball quicker a little bit and get it off their foot before the uh, seam uh, shut down. Because Florida State's so good at dropping and making something look open, and also it's not anymore. Um, so I can't, I can't say enough about that goal. Any more questions? How, how was the flooding out there? I thought it was fine. Yeah, like, was you fine mean the grass? Bad, yeah. I thought it was fine. I didn't really notice it. That was that wet. No, it was a little slippery, but the ball skipped a little. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think, I think it was more about how the ball was skipping <laughs> yeah. than the footing. I, I can't say enough about the uh, this facility um, and mm -hmm. the grounds crew and everyone that was a part of this because uh, the field was immaculate. I thought. Mm -hmm. Field was never an issue. <laughs> <laughs> it was perfect. Coach, ladies, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.